The political casualties just keep on coming. Today, it was Labour MP and Cabinet Minister Ian Lees Galloway after admitting an affair with a former staffer. The Prime Minister says he's opened himself up to accusations of improperly using his position and has lacked the judgment expected of a minister. The information was passed to Jacinda Ardern yesterday afternoon at Parliament by the National Party leader, Judith Collins. Just that morning, Ms Collins had been dealing with a resignation of her own, just the latest in a string of scandals for National. Here's our political editor, Jane Patterson. Just yesterday, National's Andrew Falloon resigned as an MP after sending an indecent image to a young woman. Today, it was Labour MP and Minister Ian Lees Galloway. This morning, I am announcing that I have dismissed Minister Ian Lees Galloway as a minister. After receiving the information, Jacinda Ardern put the allegations to him last night, at which time he admitted to having a consensual relationship with a former staffer. Over the course of the conversation with the minister, it became clear to me that his position as a minister was untenable. I advised him of that at that time. The affair lasted about a year and Ms Ardoon says she understands it ended several months ago. In the end, she decided he'd shown a complete lack of judgement. In undertaking this relationship, he has opened himself up to accusations of improperly using his office. He has not modelled the behaviour I expect as a minister that is in charge of setting a standard at culture as Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety. Not only did Judith Collins pass the allegation on to Ms Ardern, but she spoke about it in media interviews this morning. She says she gave a straight answer to a straight question. I wasn't going to obfuscate. It would have, that would have simply been a headline and I had nothing to hide. Ms Collins denies playing dirty politics. In fact, what I've done is I have alerted the Prime Minister to the information an hour after I received it. I refuse to receive any detail uh, from the uh, informant and I asked the informant to send it directly to the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. The person who came forward was a third party and not the woman involved in the relationship. Ms Ardern says she was unaware it was being made public. It was very clear to me that this was being done without their knowledge. Ms Ardern was asked for her view on how Ms Collins had handled the information. I received information. I pass it on to the Leader of the Opposition. The Leader of the Opposition has received information and obviously has chosen to deal with that differently. That is her judgement. Um, I made mine, she's made hers. Ms Collins bridles at any suggestion she handled the Lees Galloway information in a worse way than Ms Ardern with the Falloon complaint last week. She says there's now an opportunity for her and the Prime Minister to work together. As the leaders of the two major parties in Parliament, that we should together take a lead on this and that we should sit down and work out what we believe uh, MPs and also staff should have Uh, a safe working environment, how we can bring that about. She says it's time to focus on the election and the things that matter to voters. Most New Zealanders don't know who Andrew Falloon is and hopefully we'll soon forget. Mr Lees Galloway's ministerial colleagues responded to his resignation on their way into question time. The thing with the the slip-ups here is that um, the the whole country gets to see them. Uh, If you're working anywhere else, you know, it's not public uh, knowledge. But we know that that's the environment that we we work in and so that's why our behaviour has to be beyond reproach. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock, a bit of a shock. Uh, A bit sad, but, um, you know, I'll leave leave most of that cordial for the Prime Minister sad to see an end for any colleague but uh, I accept her judgement on the issues and think she's got it right. Jacinda Ardern has asked ministerial services to investigate and make sure no taxpayer money was used inappropriately in the course of the relationship. In a statement, Ian Lees Galloway says he acted inappropriately and accepts the Prime Minister's decision. He's apologised to his family and anyone else hurt by his actions and says he won't be contesting the Palmerston North seat at the election. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Jane Patterson. We did ask the Prime Minister on the programme this evening. She declined our invitation, as did Judith Collins, the leader of the National Party. We also invited the Labour Party President, Claire Zabo, on the programme, and she declined to be interviewed too, although she did release the statement. It says the Labour Party will move swiftly to select a new candidate in Palmerston North. Nominations are now open, and we could choose a candidate as early as the weekend. If there is only one candidate, there will be a confirmation 
election. In the event of a contested selection, the candidate will be chosen by a panel made up of local party members and representatives of the New Zealand Council. Early indications are there is a high level of interest. And that is a statement from Claire Zabo, who is the Labour Party president.